Go. All right. All right, so take a look at this uh, Moran's tape deck. Do you see any overcurrent protection in it? No, there's none. There's none in it. Okay, so I'm going to tip it over here. I'm going to take the bottom one. Okay, now I'm going to hand you the screws. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, redoing your turntable would be the other one. Yes, yeah, just redoing that. That we can redo. I'm not in a hurry for that one anyway, but the other one never, yeah. That's the shit come off then. Okay, here's the screws. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to set them over here carefully. They'll, they'll stay. They'll stay there. And I'll set that over here or something or whatever. Okay, so see how I mounted the fuse block in yep. here? Okay. This mm -hmm. is a panel mount fuse block. And we're going to take the wire from the cord, and we're going to go over to here. Not polarized either. Right. Not a polarized cord. So we're going to flip. I'm going to get a pair, of, better pair of glasses so I can see. Okay, all right. <coughs> Get a strong repair. Yeah. A little better? Yes, much, much better. <laughs> strong repair to last one, yes. Okay, I'm going to take from this side right here. Well, I just did not wear glasses because then I can't see nothing. Right? Mm hmm. It's going to go right. Get on the fuse. All right. Oh, it's just going to be long enough. It's not going to be long enough, is it? Nope. So I'm going to have to have you uh, push that in a little bit there. Okay. All right. But first, I'm going to take this off. Yeah, you have to push the cord in more. You gotta have to do how much more you need, just a little bit. About about an inch. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this this way. I'm gonna grab down here with the pliers. So I grab everything. Yeah. With that thrown out in the trash can, yeah. Want any of that stuff getting down inside? Right. There I got it all out. Okay, so I'm going to give you a. I'm going to have you ask you to push that, pull that in a little bit. Okay. All right. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? Uh, I need the. Uh, what'd you use? A pair of regular pliers? Needle nose. Needle nose. Do you have a regular? Is that a regular pliers? Regular pliers. Yeah. Or don't you have one? Yes, I do. Needle nose? No. Uh, like, 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 uh, something like water pump pliers. Not water pump, but, you know. What about these needle nose? These are thick. That'll work, yeah. Something, something I can grab a hold of it. Just I need a lot of room to grab a hold Oops. of it. That's all. Yeah, yeah better grab that. <laughs> they need it.
camera can't see me doing it, but that's all right, though. You just want to get it well loosened up, right? Okay. Okay. Now, can we flatten that a little bit right with the back here or see where it's flat? Yeah. Just kind of like flatten the way. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, with the back of it where there's no, yeah, where there's no, uh, Jones. that does. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. Okay. And then, um, is that going to be enough? That'll be perfect. Or do you want, or do you want more? Right there is perfect. Now you gotta clamp this or whatever. You gotta use the pliers yep. to, to let's see. I'll get it started. Yep. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> get the pliers started on there. Okay. Okay. And then we push it back through here. Okay. This is the wire. The wire. Uh, we call the wire wire uh, grommet to you know I have to move like this there. You can see now. I can push it in there now. Okay. Ah, come on, baby, go. It's almost in there. You can see it. You see it's almost in there. It's almost in there. The store, the store, I'm surprised. For being Monday night, the store was very busy today. Why? Just as it was. Oops. Okay. Get the one. Yeah, I got it in there. Now oh, it's in there. Okay. Now it's in there. That's a pair of players. Okay. I'll use these. All right. Good. That string really picked out of there. Beautiful. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> yes. Wrong way. Back the other way, yeah. Yep. It's easier to do that way. Set them right there. That should be plenty of wire for you to find to get. Yes. Now, UL and the Consumer Product Safety Commission should require this for you, shouldn't they? Yes, they should. Not only for fire prevention, but also shock hazard, too. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to use, put, put this under here for. Oh, yeah. Turbo prop so that the camera can see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. As long as you can see it, <laughs> yes. it doesn't matter. Sure, all my strands are twisted together. And twist, put it through the thing. Now I'm going to the back here because this is the power coming in. Yeah. So you don't want to have live power if somebody changes the fuse with it plugged in. No. Yeah. 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 You don't want them. You know, you're supposed to unplug when you change the fuse. Right. But you no, know, a lot of people don't make doesn't make sense. They don't do that. <laughs> Gonna just be using our one amp fuse in that. Is there a fuse already in it though? No, there is no fuse. But our, our one amp fuse, correct? Yes, one amp fuse. Okay, so I use this is a forty sixty solder. Okay. <laughs> Now this is going to go. That's going to go on here. It's going to go on the other side here. Now this one I'm going to tin. Tin it before you do it. Yes. So we go under the uh, I wonder how come okay. not taking it to do that. I took it right. Yeah. 
Is the wear all is the wear all corroded and stuff? No. Gotta get it really gotta get the thing real hot, maybe. Okay, let's see. Let me hold it right now. Let me have it. Try this again, see what we got. Hmm. It's not taking. You got you got better wire than that? Yes. Use? Yes. I would use a different piece of wire then. Yes. That's probably junk wire. Yeah, it probably is. Hmm. The wire is probably junk. Mm. What, so, what gauge is this? 18 or something? 18. About the red stuff, maybe. That's too big, though. That's not, that's why it's too small, though. Is that good? No. Too small. Too small. So I'm going to go down here with this blue wire. I've used this before. Can you, can you tend that stuff? Yes, this okay. blue stuff tends really good. Okay. Okay. So we know how much we need, and then we just cut a piece off. Yes. And bake out. Now, is this uh, a high quality unit, do you think? I think so, yeah, the way it's made, yeah. It is. Yep. Put a rice milk front. <laughs> they do that all day. Let's see how this turns. Yeah, let's see. Must be a piece of junk wire then. <laughs> Beautiful. It turned good? Beautiful. Okay, good. Yeah. So that must have been the wire then, junk. Yes. Junk wire. Now I'm going to lift this piece up just a bit here. Bit to put the wire through. Yep. I need the clearance to put a bit. No, I'm just going to slide this in. Okay, so when I'm done, I'm going to bring the camera down and show very close up. Yes, when everything's done, yes. Yep. And remember the label, too. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to set this in here. Put this up here. Mm -hmm. Bring the insulation back. Okay, take a look at the solder joint, see what you think. Oh, but wait, well, I'll do this one next. Yeah, let me see. I can't, I can't, okay, I can't, I got it, it looks good, yep. yep. Do that one next, yes. Oh, this is a Marantz. Blue wire looks nice and nice and copper, nice copper. So, mm -hmm. so I am going to uh, wrap this blue wire around this post here. You don't need the players, right? Yeah. So I'm going to use my flat ones here. Flat ones here. Okay. See, these are nice wide. Flat pliers. Here. Flat pliers. You need to make it nice and tight. And now I'm going to push it back. So. Side of that puppy. And if 
right onto the wires there. That, that's flowing out there nice. And you can see it, that's nice from here. Let's move it out. Good, good connection on that. Show you what that cool a bit. I'll set my pliers down over here. I need them on the other one. Okay, so. Take a look at that, see what you think. Oh yeah, looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna go get a couple zip ties. Yep. Okay, I gotta pause the camera. Yeah, do me a favor, pause the camera. Yeah. I gotta make a quick phone call. We're going. Yay, it's in Hawaii. Yes, no, he's in Hawaii. And it felt just like it today. It was nice here. Tomorrow is supposed to be, I don't know if it's supposed to be as good tomorrow. Okay. So I am going to fold this up like this. Now, does this look like factory work, what I did here? Yes, it does. Yep. And the tie wraps will make it sure that it is, you know, sure that it's good. Mm -hmm. You gotta clip them off, of course. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pop that off and throw in the garbage. Yep. Okay, and uh, I'm going to get the camera and bring it down and show you up close what it looks like. And the label. All right. I soldered the blue wire there on the right, and the black and the blue on the fuse block. And here it is, UL listed without any overcurrent protection from the factory. Okay, I'm going to give you the honors of putting the uh, one amp fuse in. Just look at it, make sure it's one amp. Um, yes, it is, yep. One. Okay. I think you can probably put it in this way so the camera can see it. Yep. Oh, this is not a screw one, okay. Because some of them are like, some of them like half quarter turn. It isn't. Nope. No, it isn't. Yeah, rum. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. All righty. So that is that. We're done. This one we're done. Put the bottom cover on it then. Yes, I'm going to tap it out a little bit here. Right. And let me move the screws off so it falls before. Tap it out so there's no any solder balls that get in there. Mm -hmm. Close is that to the thing there? It was kind of well, it's a good, good quarter of an inch away. Okay, good. That's what we want then. I'll fold it up there. How does that look? Does that look a lot look really good? Yes, it does. Yeah, that looks better now. Yep, yep. It certainly does, Holly. Okay. Okay, so that's gotta go any other way. Yeah, wrong like that. There we go. Actually, these, these go underneath the underneath lip there. This. Underneath the lip there. Okay. All righty. Wait, don't tighten that yet. I'm not, it, all right, there. Now we go. We don't got it now. Now, 
Now, what can cause the power transformer to go bad with normal use? Well, if one of the secondary things short, or one of the secondary uh, components short, and it can burn it out, can it? It can. Like the uh, rectifier diodes. Rectifier diodes, or the capacitors, or the uh, or the filter capacitor too. It can do it. What about the voltage regulator? That too. Yep, the voltage regulator. Yep. Or even the Zener diode. Zener diode can short out that too. Yep. And they're right where the wires come off the power transformer to the circuit. Yep, right to the circuit board, yeah. Tip on this back up again. Yep. And those diodes and parts we're talking about are right here. There's a voltage regulator, uh, a bridge rectifier, which is, the, and there's the power capacitor. And there's a couple other capacitors over here. Okay. And those are what can fail that can cause. That's the what can fail and cause the power transformer to short. Yeah. Or yeah, or uh, get hot when they short out and burn off the burn up. Yep. And if it gets hot enough, it can. It can. Uh, if it gets hot enough, it can melt the case. If it's plastic, in this case, it's metal. You, it's metal. It wouldn't melt it, but it would get so hot that it could cause the shock hazards when you touch the case. You can get electrocuted. Right. Mm -hmm. so. And a fire hazard because without that fuse, it's at the mercy of a twenty amp circuit breaker. Circuit breaker, and then this cord can start melting too. It can start getting real hot and. And uh, cause you know set the the floor or the carpet or the drapes on fire. Right when it shorts. When it shorts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we're gonna get our other unit out. We'll put the top on that one. We'll put the top on that one off camera. Yes, I'll do that off camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take. A Look at it. You get bring enough wire. Yeah, I brought the wire there. in for that. Enough for this one, though. No? Enough. Yes. Yep. There's no circuit protection on that one here. No fuse. No nothing. Okay. And you well in the Consumer Product Safety Commission should require wire these fuses. Yep. And you can put a tie wrap back on there when you're done. Yes. <laughs> Now, this ain't polarized either, right? Mm -hmm. Polarized plug? Nope, this is not, so. Okay, that is just going to be long enough. So we don't have to, we don't have to cut it then, huh? I, I already did that. Oh, I mean, we don't have to uh, put it through that more. No. No. Got it, okay. Good. <clears throat> okay, so we got to unsolder. Take the other that. Want to set this bull on bull side underneath it or no? No. Uh, this is up high. Oh, you know what? Mm. Let's take this switch off. Do you want to take that little lever off there? Yeah. Why do you want to take that off? Because I want you to work over here in case a little solder drops will fall there rather than in the unit. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's see. And there's a screw that comes out. Oh, I see. Right. You want to take this whole board out of here? Yeah. I'll, I've had it up before. Okay. So I just, let's see. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. All you do is just, you should be able to just unclip this. What you got to do is you got to separate it with a, like a pair of pliers or something. Okay. Just you know, carefully and then, and then just, uh, okay. should come undone. That pushes down, I think, or something like that. I don't know. I think it's going to get down, I believe. No, the brakes. What? Did it break? No, it, it would break if I pushed it down. Yeah, oh, it would. Okay, okay so I'm going to undo the screw. Let's see if I take the screw out. This whole thing just, okay, this whole thing just lifts out. Okay, you know what you can do, too? You might be able to just hold on that. Yeah, okay, and then you 
can you take this off or leave it on? You want to leave it on or we take it off? Leave it on because then no, you can okay. hold it while I do okay. this. Yeah, thank you. Hold it over to you and out of the way. Okay, hold it like that. Yep, I got it. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, that's the filter right there. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. so let's oh, right here. You need these. Uh, yes. Pull this insulation off like this. So it won't smell and stink the place up. Hmm. Okay. Grab the pliers there, probably like this. Take this, you know, drop it. Oh, I'm not, I'll untwist with this because I can. And the other one goes there like this. You don't want to get any solder balls in the unit. No. It's a bad thing. There you go. Yeah, see there's some there's an example right there. Yeah. It just went flying and it went dropped on the floor down there. All on the floor too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they, that can come up with the vacuum. Hmm. Okay, now we will uh, poke another wire in here. Twist another wire around it. Mm -hmm. around, around the thing. I would use that blue wire. It's the yes, same size. Yes. Yeah, same size. Yeah. The blue wire was really nice. It tends really good and everything. Mm -hmm. I closed the end. Is this good high quality equipment? Yes, it is. It is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. This was a pendant, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wrap it around there. Okay, and then see if I can get it out. Yes. Okay, did it all come through? Yes, it all okay, came through. Good. Bend it over. Okay, hold it up so the camera can see it like that. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try holding it like that so I can hold it still. Try it to anyway. Okay. A little, a little shaky, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to. Go in there or not? Yes. Okay, I'll move this again here. I'll make sure I don't. Yeah, let go of it. Okay, okay, make sure you move. And I didn't disturb the solder on this yes. side. Nope. Okay, so this can be. You want to be putting that back? Yep, in? I can put that back in there again. Yep. Slide that in there. Like that. And then, okay, wait a minute. I put the screw in. Okay. Let's see. It clicks. Does it? It clicks, but the thing is, though, it doesn't stay in. Yeah, it does. Okay, it stays in. Oh, wait a minute. Is this thing? Well, it's not because it's not straight either. When it gets in there, we'll get in there and we'll track it, track it. 
getting in there. I'm going to make it straight. That's the problem. It's not straight. Yeah, it's not straight. So get it, straighten it up, and I'll try it again. It stays in now. Yep. Okay. That's straight. Okay. Okay, so this. Okay, so the power is going to go to the back. Back here. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use this turbo this prop. Tur again. Turbo prop. Yeah. <sighs> Even the prop. Turbo. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay, do you want to unplug this ribbon wire here? There. Okay. okay so yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right it can only go in one way anyway on that. Right. So you can't screw that up. And I'm going to unplug this one. Why is that? Also, oh, it's not in the way, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want to take any chances of burning it. Yep. Burning it or melting it. Okay, so we'll uh, strip our line cord and put it in the back. Maui is in Hawaii, and it's a nice place to That's visit. That's it. Very good place to visit. What does that thing say on the back of it? Fuse block? Hmm. I don't know what's on the back. Some of the back. Okay, then get my solder out. We use a 4060 solder for electronics, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Yep, 4060 for electronics. Put that back up there for Robbie. Yeah. Problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah, whoa. So I'm going to do this left handed. So. Uh oh. Can you do it left handed? I think so. Okay. Nope. I, I'm, I know I'm not left handed, but are you, you're right handed, right? No. I can pretty much work with both hands. I usually have to do that. <laughs> Do I hold these? I can't. I think I'm going to hold these out of the way. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do it this way. Okay. Can't do it with your left hand, can you? It's trickier, but I can do it. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay, do you want to unplug, unplug that, this ribbon? Okay, yep. Let's see. Okay. There, out of the way. Okay, how about this little one here? Yes, I'm going to get that down out of the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it going this way. Yeah, it's kind of tough, is it? Yeah. It looks like it might be a little tough. Yeah, but it's a little bit tight in there. You can't get that from the bottom because it's all circuit boards and stuff. Yeah. Little circuit boards on the bottom and stuff. There we go. We got it. Got it. And now we'll strip our blue wire here. Make sure you go under the other wires here. Yeah. Make sure you go under, under, under here, like under these ones. Yes. Okay, under. Under those, yeah. Let's <laughs> turn this up a little bit here. Okay. Straighten it out, of course. Yeah. Okay, 
You can maybe do you want to hold the dryer? Make sure I don't hit the dryer still. Yeah, I'll hold it out of the way. Okay. Oh, about the blue one. Yeah, hold the knife down. Okay, oh, so sure I don't want to do that with the blue one. Okay, hold, okay it's straight now. Can I hold it? Okay. Yep, hold it right there, yeah. Looks like factory work. Yep, it does. Okay, so now let's zip tie these into place. Okay, so let's get this one up here, this one up here. Let's go through and okay, so let's we can just put a little in one bunch, maybe I don't know. Okay, I wanna get this all together. You want to point out what can cause the power transformer to go bad and short out? The, yeah. Um, the, let me first okay, zip yeah. time. Yes, let's zip time first. That one's got a lot of regulators in that one. Quite a few of them. Maybe one more like right there. Yeah, I would say put one in there to put one in there to make the bunch them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about the one that was here tying these all together here? Yeah, I'll do that again too. Because yeah. mm -hmm. that was from the factory. Yeah, it was from the factory, yep. Where it was, where one was factory in there. Yes. It went around all these wires right here. Yes. Even the, even the blue one, it went around them all. Mm -hmm. And it was like right here at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. And right. do you want the honors of putting in the fuse? Yes, let me turn it sideways here. I can have the camera showing up. Turn the camera here. Make sure it's a one amp here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. A250. A AGC1. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's point out to people what can go bad in the circuitry. What can, what can sure in the circuitry here is the power, the, the power transformer out is these uh, these power or these uh, regulators here, the main cap or the little little rectifier diodes um, down in here that can short and cause out. It can cause the transformer to get hot and short out, and short out and, or and it can get so hot it can either melt the case or it can make this wire so hot that it burned that it like melts the rug or the curtains. And it can spark and catch the curtains. And it can spark and catch the curtains and the, the carpet and on, on fire too. 
Yep. Because it's at the mercy of a 20 amp house fuse or circuit breaker. Yes. Yep. So putting this 1 amp fuse in would prevent the fire. Would prevent the fire the shock and the shock hazard. Yep. And uh, you all in the Consumer Product Safety Commission, you feel, should require it. Yes. Yep. Okay, so I'll bring the camera and down. Uh, yep. Show we'll the, do. We'll the do. label yep. and the soldering. Yep. There's the back of the uh, fuse block. And there's the uh, blue wire I put on the terminal. Consult an authorized service center before doing. Yep. Okay, and so. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop it up on my knee here. I'm going to plug all the plugs back in. I'm there to make sure that they're in there, plugged in all the way. Because they only these things only go in one way. They only got one way they can go in. Wait, wait a minute. Do I see something in here? Oh, okay, that's the whole thing back there. Okay. And they can only be plugged in one way. And that's it. Okay. Okay. Where did that? Okay. This one I know where this one went. This one back here. This one back here, correct? Right? No, I didn't plug one in the back. It was up oh. oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. that one did plug in the back. back yeah. 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 I just said I could. But I got to make sure it's not plugged in all the way. I can't. There we go. I'm back. Okay, I can't. I can't. I couldn't see it there. Like, I wanted to make sure I could see it. And then the other one was back here, wasn't it? Um, it was, where was it? We were looking at it from the other way, so maybe we turn it back to the other way. Turn it back the other way. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, right here, right there. Right there, yeah, I see it now. Yep. Very good. There we go. Mm. Hey, does that solder joint look good on that black wire there? Let's see. Oh, uh, we see on the on the block. On the black, the black case. Yeah, they both look good. Both look good. Yep. Yeah, okay, so. Mm. Now let's tap it out. Tap it out and then bingo. Yep. We don't want them, any solder balls that get in there. We want them to get out. Mm -hmm. Get them in there. Yep. Okay, there we yeah. go. I'll put the tops back on off camera. Yep. Alrighty, so let's talk about... Uh, we notice how many, many manufacturers don't put the fuses in. Nope, they don't. And then that's... Uh, and uh, the the product safety commission and the um, UL should require the fuses. They got fuses like in DVDs and VCRs and TVs. Why not put them in the you know the audio equipment like cassette decks or CD players or record players or uh, EQs or tuners? Mm -hmm. They so should. They should. Yep, they should. Or radios even. Some radios are like that too. Mm -hmm. so. And they can start a fire too. Yes, they can. If anything goes wrong. Yep. But always consult with an authorized service center before you do this. Yeah, because if done wrong, you can create a problem. If it's done right. wrong and not done right. Yep. Yes. Mm. Yep, okay. Everything works. Uh, this one's a three head and the other one's a two head. Oh, is it? Mm, okay. Now, is, is this is one or two motors here? Um, This has got... Um, That looks like... That's two motors. That's got two motors in it. One for the cap stand and one for the drive. And it's a three head. That's a three head, yep. 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 Cool. And it's a, that's considered high end, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep. Yep. You said this is a Denon, right? It's a Denon. Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's considered a high end unit. Yep. Three head and two motors. Yep. Dual motors. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so uh oh, okay, no. just look and see what that's in there, that's all. Yep. Alrighty, alright. 